Hi, JT. This is Jeff with Zucker Marketing. Thank you so much for making time to talk with Megan. And as promised, here's your website analysis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get more customers online. I'm also going to run through a couple of things that you can implement right now. And in addition to reviewing your website, we're also going to look at one of your competitors' website and show you how they're currently beating you online and what you can actually do differently to counteract that. So first, we'll start off with your website. Well, you actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo at the top. You have good photos, nice layout, and good amount of contents as well. So there's actually just a few things we're gonna get over with for us to make sure we get you on top of the search list. Well, one thing you can tell right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google's eyes. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd want to have 1500 words or more. So let's go ahead and do a quick count just for us to see how many words you have on your homepage. All right, so currently you only have 203 words, which is quite behind with the goal of 1500 that Google is looking for. That way, Google will actually consider your website a much more trustworthy website. Um, Next thing I would like to talk about are keywords. Google is also looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So we actually did a quick search of the, the sheet metal products in one of the areas you're servicing. And of course, we'll talk more about the results that we have here. Let's go ahead and start off with the first one. So this is what we call the map pack. And of course, this is something where you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of attention, a lot of traffic, and are easier to find. One way for you to actually be here is you'll need to have um, like Google My, My Business service um, where you'll enter as much information as possible like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, and so on and so forth. And also, if you add those same information in as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie.com, that will really help you a lot to be on the map pack faster. <clears throat> Moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are all the websites that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads, just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze. So I actually pulled up one of the top ranking websites. Let's see what they have differently. Looking at their website, they also have their logo at the top. They have their call to action. They also have good photos and good amount of contents as well. So let's go ahead and dig deeper with the numbers instead. So we have here Ahrefs, one of the pay tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. We'll talk more about the numbers. So let's start off with DR. So this is the level of trust that Google has in your website and UR is the strength of your website. Backlinks on the other hand, these are other websites that refers to your website. So they're like shout outs from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and the like. And one important thing that you need to discuss about backlinks in your referring domains is that this should be a two to one ratio. So the 57 referring domains that you have are actually what we call the good or strong backlinks. And the rest of the missing backlinks, they're what we consider the spammy backlinks. Let's also take a look at your competitors' numbers. So starting off with DR and UR, it actually shows that they have more numbers, which simply means that Google actually finds their website a much more trustworthy website and also a stronger website. And if you look closely, even though they actually have more backlinks and keywords than what you have, you were actually able to get, a, um, get more traffic out of this backlinks and keywords. The main reason for that is because even though they have a good amount of backlinks, however, since you have a better ratio of backlinks, you were actually able to end up with a with more traffic. So what you can actually do differently on your end is you'll need to increase the number of your backlinks and keywords, of course, and make sure you actually have a better ratio between your backlinks and referring domains. And definitely, you'll end up with way, way more traffic on your end. Let's go ahead and take a look of what type of 
backlinks and keywords they're using and let's also discuss the importance of this too especially in making your website stronger and better starting off with the good or strong backlinks so these are all the directories they're currently listed on that actually brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic that's why they're also ranking higher in the searches Next are the organic keywords. So these are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the number center volume, these are the total number of people that's actually searching for these specific keywords on Google. So that's how important in choosing the right keyword is. That way more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. Another thing we'd like to share about keywords is what we call, um, or I mean, the yeah, what we call the, the hidden keywords. So if you save a photo and instead of naming it with a generic file name, you can actually rename every photo on your website as a hidden keyword. Um, that way, those keywords won't be repetitive on your website, right? So yeah, just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can do to improve your ranking is first, the amount of content when we're gonna add more words into your homepage. That way, Google will actually consider your website a much more trustworthy website. Um, next would be the backlinks, where we're going to add your information to more directories as possible. That way, we can actually bring you more traffic. And of course, the higher chances of your website in appearing in most of the map pack searches. Last but not the least would be the keywords, where we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and of course, choosing the right ones. That way, more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. So these are all the things that you can actually implement right now. We can also help you in making these changes and more with the goal of getting you many new customers. So Megan will also be following up with you to get some feedback about the ideas I shared on this video. So I really do appreciate your time. You all have a wonderful day. Bye.